Hey guys, so this video will be pretty informal. Uh, this receiver adapter that I've got on the 590 is not being held on by any hardware. It's just using the, uh, the double-sided tape that I've used to alpha test for the universal model. And I need to take this off to put an actual Mossberg model on for the crowdfunding video. Uh, so in the spirit of seeing just how good this double-sided tape is, I'm going to do some impact testing to try to remove this. Um, it'll also kind of see how much damage the uh, the latch and the pin will hold up to also. So I'm not going to hit it with full blows. This is a pretty good framing hammer, but uh, decent shots and probably with uh, increasing power. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So. much of anything. Looks like the tape is starting to give way a little bit at the rear, I think. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Huh. And it knocked, knocked one of the retention springs out of the carrier itself. Wow! <laughs> it actually, it actually knocked the pin. <laughs> it knocked the pin out of the receiver and dropped the trigger group out. That's awesome. So <laughs> let's pull the. Uh, see if we can pull the rest of these parts out. <laughs> they don't want to come out. So I'll put it up. I didn't expect that. So. All right, so the uh, <laughs> the carrier itself in the QDC is holding up better than the construction of the gun itself. So let's keep hitting it and see how it goes. All right, I finally got the the plastic to start to crack a little bit on the front here. The tape is still holding up pretty well. Let's get it from the top here. There goes another spring. All right, I finally got a piece of the carrier to break. Oh, the uh, oh, I actually can't remove it now because the the aluminum has bent that much. Let's see if we can jam it back in there. The tape is still holding up okay, and actually the the latch and the pin are still doing well too. So, oh, the stock is starting to turn because the trigger group isn't holding it in place anymore. So, <laughs> all right, so it's actually, I don't know if you can <laughs> see this, it's actually deformed all of the, the aluminum receiver adapter to the point where uh, it, the, the latch is basically pressed into the thing completely. Um, <laughs> you can see the rest of the damage from you know, the rest of the gun. So yeah, I mean... <laughs> The, uh, the quick detach carrier isn't exactly quick detach anymore, but uh, the well, I'm, I'm kind of speechless to be honest with you. The uh, the aluminum folded in half almost more so than anything actually breaking, and more so than the uh, the tape failing. So uh, that's that's pretty impressive. So I guess I'll be getting a uh, a razor blade now to to uh, cut the foam tape off and, and get that removed and uh, wow I'm actually pretty impressed with how well I held up so I don't know it was a fun little experiment so hopefully it kind of gives you guys a little bit of an idea as far as uh, you know how well that tape holds up to impact resistance so alright thanks I'll see you next time